Welcome everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how you can smash any object to smithereens in Unity. As you can see over here. I've created my own scripts to make it happen. You can download them for free. You can find the GitHub link in the description. All you have to do is copy the folder to your own project and attach one of the scripts to your scene objects. I'll show you in a minute how to do that. To demonstrate how this works, I'm first gonna create a sphere. The object already has a collider. Now all you need to do is add this uh, Shatter Game Objects script. Now if I press play, I can already shatter this sphere. The script comes with a few parameters. The scatter delay, uh, that's how long it takes before the scattering actually happens. Usually this is zero. The cleanup delay, that determines how long the scattered pieces will stay in the scene. The depth, it will determine how many pieces there will finally be in the scattered object. And you can also set a cross-section material that's the material that's used on the scattered parts. Um, by default, that's the same material as the object is made of. And you can also uh, create um, a prefab effect uh, for to create smoke. And you can also set the explosive force to determine how much the object will be scattered around the place. So let's try to change the cleanup delay and set the depth to a higher level and see the result. So now if I smash this uh, sphere it will be shattered to more pieces and they will stay longer in the scene. Now let's try with an object from the asset store. I got this Disco Baller statue. I'm gonna import it over here. I still need to convert the material. And now I can drag it into the scene. We need to add a collider. So let's use a mesh collider. And uh, we need to add the uh, script to it, the Shatter Game Object script. Um, also, you need to make sure that when you import um, meshes, you um, have this read write enabled because we need to um, be able to read the vertices of the mess. Okay, so let's test it out. There you go, the object is smashed to pieces. And finally, let's try with um, um, an object from internet uh, 3d model Finally, let's test with a 3D model from internet. I've downloaded this barrel and I'm now going to import it into this folder. It also came with a few textures, so I'm going to import them as well. Let's first um, 
extract the material and set the textures okay this is good enough and um, you need to make sure uh, also with this uh, object that uh, the read write option is enabled and also you need to make sure that if there are any child uh, um, objects like uh, over here that they don't have uh, colliders because that could mess up the uh, the scattering all right so now um, let's add the uh, shatter uh, game object script again to this uh, barrel and uh, let's see if it works Oh, I forgot to add a mesh collider, of course, so now the objects will not be seen. So we add a collider, a mesh collider is the most appropriate in this case. So now you can see that we can smash this barrel as well. Here you see the result when you use the. Um, the the same material as cross-section material uh, this material uh, on the outside is used as a cross-section material as well that it's not always uh, very good looking so if for example we create a material over here and we assign that as cross-section material it will probably look better Yeah, you see now the difference that the cross-section material is applied and that looks different so to use this in your own games all you need to do is uh, download my uh, github project and uh, copy this folder and then drag this game shatter game objects uh, scripts onto your um, objects I will uh, little bit explain how it works what it first does is uh, traverse to all the objects that are um, uh, childs of the main object so for example if we want to smash this object it will first go and fetch all these objects it will put them uh, outside of this main object and then it will add the uh, rigid bodies uh, to it you can see that uh, over here um, this is a recursive function and over here we see that the uh, the rigid body is added and then uh, we also add a second script to all these objects the set uh, shatter mesh script this takes care of the shattering uh, of the uh, the components of the meshes so of these objects will again be uh, be separated by uh, slicing them um, I used uh, a bit of code from another uh, project from internet for that and I modified it a little bit to my likings so that's this uh, shatter mesh uh, script we have these uh, parameters that we can set and what it does is just uh, go through all the uh, uh, first it creates a plane a random plane um, from the origin the center of mesh and then uh, this uh, uh, plane is used to create two new uh, meshes uh, by uh, just uh, creating triangles based on uh, the original mesh and the uh, the plane the cross-section plane 
so um, yeah that's it for how it works furthermore to create this demo uh, I added um, um, a script for uh, the camera to shake the camera uh, it's over here and um, this object works with um, So create this demo, I uh, used the Mixamo character and the Mixamo animation. I used some free assets like the uh, Fantasy Skybox and the ground texture. And uh, I created uh, a camera shake script. You can find it uh, over here. And what it does is it uses the Cinema Scene Virtual Camera Noise function that's over here. Um, to change this amplitude gain and create some noise on the camera um, so you can change it now manually so the script is actually doing something similar like what I'm doing now um, furthermore uh, to create this slash effect what you see when I uh, use the sword this blue uh, line um, I created that with uh, a virtual effect it's over here it's actually uh, a particle system with one one particle and um, it uses this mesh and uh, it also has a shader custom shader created to give it some nice effect uh, and I of course uh, used a few sounds that I added from uh, freesounds.org for the sound effects so that's basically it